Today we're going to review this ProTech baritone saxophone case and I'll explain to you why I think it's the best one you can buy right now. Let's go! Hey, what's up guys, Joris Rampen here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to review the ProTech PB311 CT Barry Sax case. And it took me ages to memorize that name. Let's start by looking at the outside of the case. The first thing you'll see is the front pocket, which opens up with zippers and on the inside you can see small sections where you can put your pencils and other small stuff in. I personally like to keep my boxes of reeds and all other kinds of small pieces of gear like cigarette paper, tuners, for those of you who use them, or some tools to fix the saxophone in this pocket. The two compartments also have zippers, so good job Protec! This is actually really useful. The gear is really well kept and not being thrown around all the time. The one minus about this pocket is that the free slots for pencils and other markers aren't closed on the bottom end, meaning that if you slide in any smaller type of pencils, they slide right through and out again on the other side. I have no clue who thought that this would be a good idea. Like, why? It literally makes no sense. But anyway. Moving on, we have a second pocket on the back of the case, which is also zip closing and is a little larger. This is where you'll be able to keep all your sheet music and whilst it may seem small on camera, don't worry, A4 sheets fit perfectly and you can even go slightly larger than that. Finally, a baritone case with a sheet music pocket. I love it. To carry the case around you can do it the obvious way and carry it with the handle, which to be honest feels really nice in your hand, or you can opt for the included shoulder strap which you can adjust to fit your shoulder perfectly. This shoulder strap attaches to the metal rings you can see on the outside of the case and the metal really gives you a feeling of quality. You can also carry the case as a backpack, but there's a catch. Whilst the attachment points for the back straps are present on the case, the straps aren't included. Yes, you heard that right. You have to buy the backpack straps separately. Doesn't make much sense, but it's also not that big of a deal. More on that later. Oh, and finally, the last way you could carry the case around is by using the top handle, which is much less comfortable than the main padded one. But hey, who carries a baritone around like that anyway? It's an additional feature which can be useful from time to time, so I'm really happy they included it. For those of you wondering, no, there are no wheels on this case. So if you were planning on rolling your case around, you'll have to look out for another one. But keep in mind that rolling the case is only actually useful when the surface you're rolling on is very flat. You definitely don't want to roll it outside, because the vibrations from the ground going into the wheels aren't good for your horn. Another disadvantage is that the case cannot stand upright by itself. You always have to lean it against something, hold it or simply put it on the ground. In my opinion, this isn't actually that big of a deal either though. Protec also provided multiple rubber feet on the case for all kinds of situations and even there you can see that the case definitely wasn't designed to stand upright. So as you can see here, there are 6 rubber feet on the back of the case and on top and bottom there are also these rubber things, I have no idea what they're called, if you know let me know in the comments but my guess is that they should prevent the case from slipping when leaning it against the wall for example. Ok, let's finally open the case. So first you have to open the handle, then you move on to what they call the quick lock, which is supposed to lock the case even if it's unzipped, which can be handy to move the case around when the battery is not inside, because the sole fact of someone doing it with the battery in there gives me personally already anxiety. Finally. You have the two large zippers which can be locked in case you're traveling and which are very comfortable by the way. Then you can open the case and the first thing you'll get to see is blue. It's blue everywhere. And I think that now's the time to mention that you actually cannot get the case in any other colors from what I've seen. So black outside and blue inside seem to be the only option, but 
it's only really bothered me a little bit the first week or so, then you get used to it. Anyway, so inside you'll find one huge compartment for the saxophone with no other separated compartments for other gear, except for the blue bell porch, which is included to keep your mouthpiece and neck with the horn. The case itself feels incredibly soft from the inside, but it still protects the horn well because underneath that ultra soft material there is an entire wood shell covering the entire case, so it's pretty solid and offers good protection. No joke, this is one of the hardest cases I've seen even though it doesn't look like it from the outside. It also isn't a very heavy case, coming in at approximately 6 kilograms or 13 to 13 and a half pounds when empty. The next thing that seems to be a disadvantage is that the case seems to be a little larger and doesn't seem to hold a saxophone well at first sight. But that's not really true actually. As you can see, there's still a lot of empty room left when I put my berry in the case and you can see that I can still move it around a little bit. However, I have to say that I never had any problems with this so far, but I also generally don't put the bell porch inside the saxophone's belly but I use that and larger gear items, like my harness for example, to fix the saxophone to make sure it can't move anymore. Especially before larger travel sessions. It probably doesn't give you the same hold as a case molded for your specific model would maybe do, but it certainly does the job very well and in over a year of usage now it hasn't damaged my saxophone in any way, which is the main concern people could and should have I believe. Oh, and have I mentioned yet that this case will fit literally any baritone saxophone, whether it's low B flat or low A, everything goes in here. Before covering the price, I'll add that obviously the case is water resistant and it also comes with a little gimmick for travelers. This little ID tag. As you can see I've never filled in mine, but hey, it's there and who knows, maybe you'll need it at some point. Anyway. Moving on to the price, this is where this case actually becomes really attractive, because I've seen it priced for around 270 euros or about 300 dollars at the time of recording this video. Now this is pretty competitive considering the other cases by manufacturers like the BAM Hi-Tech for example, costs more than twice that amount. The only thing you need to consider are the extra 25 bucks for the back straps, which I definitely recommend you get. Unfortunately, they don't attach to the case in metal rings like the shoulder strap, but use what seems to be a cheaper mechanism which sometimes sounds scary when putting it on your back, but actually is really sturdy and except for the sometimes awful sounds it makes, it has always held up without any problems and neither me nor any of my friends using this case have experienced any problems with the back straps ever. Alright, so let's sum up once more the most important pros and cons of this case to allow you to look at the big picture. But before we do that, may I just remind you to remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more saxophone related content. It's completely free and the only thing I'm asking for because every time I see I got a new subscriber, it instantly makes my day better. Thank you. Let's start with the pros. Number 1. It has two pockets, one for sheet music, one for small gear. Number 2. It is water resistant and has a wooden shell making it very solid and sturdy. Number 3. It is lightweight. Number 4. There's a shoulder strap included. Number 5. It fits any baritone saxophone whether it's low B flat or low A. Number 6. It can be used as a backpack if you buy the extra backpack straps. Number 7. It's priced very competitively. Now let's move on to the cons. Number 1. There are no wheels. Number 2. The backpack straps need to be ordered separately. But is this really a con though? It's just two extra clicks, but let's just keep it in here for now. Number 3. You can't stand it upright. Number 4. The backpack straps make weird noises when carrying it around. This doesn't impact its functionality whatsoever though. Number 5. The saxophone isn't molded in perfectly and can move if there aren't any other pieces of gear to hold it in place. The included porch already does a very good job on its own, by the way. Number 6. There's only one color option. Number 7 and probably the biggest disadvantage is that I'm not sponsored by Protect to say any of this. 
In conclusion, I believe that this case has a very strong package and is, if not the best case for Baritone right now, at least the best bang for buck considering its pricing in comparison with its main competitors. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below the video. Do you know any better cases than this one? Anyway, that's it from me for today. As usual, please smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet already, because I'm uploading every Wednesday a new video, and you don't want to miss those if you're serious about improving your saxophone playing and knowledge on all levels of the horn. If you've made it so far, it's been a pleasure, and I'll see you again next week. Peace. Peace.